Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Saturday, November 10th. This is what I'm picking up on today. The energy, the timing is fluid. This reading is not a private reading, meaning it might not be for you. We will see what comes up. That's the first card we had yesterday. So this this is still going on here. Remember, we had the Fool yesterday as the first card. So starting at zero. We're, so this energy is absolutely carrying over from yesterday. Remember, that one was from, that one I said was the 9th to the 10th. Today I said just the 10th. Got to pay attention to everything, okay? So fresh start. Starting over. Starting at zero. I just heard that song. I just want to be with you. What the hell is that song? Dream come true. Start back at one. Something like that. Anyway, I don't know what the song is. Anyway, there's a lack of faith in starting over, right? Somebody's not listening to their inner guide. lack of trust and you need to have faith <laughs> because you know that fool is about taking a risk and with faith and there's lack of faith but <laughs> yeah, this is absolutely a carryover there's going to be happiness there is remember we talked about the extreme abundance yesterday happiness you see the light I mean you see the light They see the light. Somebody is looking up at the light. Follow your light. Uh-oh. Somebody is stuck. Blocking. This is a stressful, painful decision, isn't it? Somebody is really stressing out over what step they need to take. Knowing that they need to. I know that I need to, but if I do, the mask is going to come off and I'm going to have to face the truth. I'm going to have to face reality. Scared. Somebody is really, really scared. So staying in a place where it's safe, but very tormenting. It's safe here, but it doesn't feel good. Very lonely energy. I'm, I feel so alone. And that's not me. I'm talking to you guys. Oh, yes. I am refusing to accept the truth. This is what this is. Refusing to face the truth. Re truth refusing to wake up. Lack of awareness. Again, lack of faith. Huge lack of faith here. Trust. Trust, trust that the divine or God or whoever it is, your higher power is leading you towards the light, leading you in the direction that is going to give you the most growth, the most healing, the most happiness. Trust. Somebody's not making the right judgment call by denying the truth. 
that it's time. It's time to stand up and walk away from this barren situation. <laughs> Somebody is really unable to face their fears. And that's, you know, the very first card again. You have to face your fears. You got to. Or you're going to it's going to just get more painful. That's all it's going to do. Yep, time to go out. Time to go out and find my abundance. Time to go on my own. Time to go on my own. Right? It is. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Taurus. Leo. Aries again. Scorpio. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be, this is, this is going to be for everybody, but I'm just saying who I see. Somebody is being given the opportunity for extreme happiness, but they're going to have to stop holding on to where, you know, I'm secure right here. This is my security. This is my security. And they need, to, they need to realize that when you step out of your security, you step out of your comfort zone, you bring new things into your life. Better things. Somebody has been holding back from making this move. Because they feel like they can't do it by themselves. But when they do make this move, they're going to be more abundant than they ever were before. They are. They are. They're going to start enjoying life. Going to start to feel good. Their passion, their ambition, their drive, their confidence, their self-worth, and their self-esteem is going to come right back. Just like that. As soon as they find their faith to take a risk, as soon as they start listening to their inner guide and they take that step over the edge, it's going to be almost like immediate relief. But the main tool to get this immediate relief is confidence. You have to have confidence in yourself, in God, universe, whatever this is. You, somebody doesn't have the confidence and they need to have the confidence. You know, there, you, there's probably somebody in the mix that is holding you back. They're probably saying, you can't do it, or they're making you feel like you can't do it. They're just putting you down, right? They're putting you down. They're bringing you down. You're dealing with somebody who may be a little bit younger than you, who's just like a menace. This person is a freaking menace. And it, this person is not giving you good advice. Definitely not. Whoever it is that you're dealing with, it could be a child, could be just somebody who's younger, could be anybody, this person not giving you good advice, they're not. They might be not wanting you to move on because of the money, you know? They may be like, huh, no, I need your I need your security, I need your financial security. And there's secrets here, okay? You're dealing with somebody who's keeping some secrets. And I honestly feel 
Like, you probably know they're keeping secrets. You know something is up. But. But. For you to face your fears and face the unknown, you'll have to go on your own. You have to go on your own. So there's codependency issue here, right? There is. So there's definitely fear of the unknown. Somebody is discontent in the situation they're in right now, but unable to make a move because it's safe. And it's like there's an opportunity for happiness, but you're going to have to find the, the, the strength, the confidence, the self-worth to take that step. I mean, come on now. That's what this is. There's a shaky foundation here, okay? There is a shaky foundation, force about foundations. We have one upright, one reverse right next to each other. It's, it's, it is. It's like it's a shaky foundation. It's not stable at all. It's not. Even though somebody's thoughts think it is stable, it's not stable. There's no love in these cards. None. Period. I mean, there is no love in these cards. And we can't make that shit up. So... Somebody's refusing to wake up because they feel like they can't do it on their own. And, you know, it's time. It is time to find that abundance. It's time to let this storm that you have been standing in end. There's an opportunity for you to find happiness, healing, everything. Extreme bliss if you decide to go. Realize that you are on your own. You're on your own. You are on your own, period. No matter what. The only person that can make you happy is you. And maybe somebody refuses to see that as truth. That is the truth. And somebody doesn't want to believe the truth. That's lack of belief as well. So anyway... It looks like today somebody is not believing in themselves. They're not, they're not having faith in this new beginning, this fresh start. And they're being called to just do it, do it, do it, just do it. Find the confidence to do it. To do what you are passionate about. Take that leap. It's time to fly. And one of my decks, the, it's the fool card is a bird on a limb, a baby bird. And that bird, the only way that bird is going to get anywhere is to jump off that branch and spread its wings. And it is absolutely time to jump, spread your wings, and fly away. You can do it on your own, okay? You can. There's a lot of self-loathing going on here. It's like, I can, I can't. Yes, you can, you can, you can. Somebody is reluctant to move on, right? With the Six of Swords reversed. Reluctant. Afraid of this transition. It is a time of transition, after all. It absolutely is. You have to find strength to face your fears. And believe in yourself. And follow your own path. The Hierophant upright believes in themselves. Follows their own path. Fully. I no. But if you're dealing with somebody who is, oh, excuse me, telling me that you don't know, you know, telling you that you don't know, telling you can't do it, you know, telling you that this, and they're jealous, they're jealous. They don't want you to succeed because you're taking care of them. You're helping them, right? Now, you could be dealing with somebody that's naive. 
they're just naive. They don't know. They're just like, they aren't awake yet. Somebody's not awake yet. Somebody is absolutely still asleep. They have not woken up. Anyway, it's a time of transition and we got somebody here that's resisting it because of fear. And another person trying to instill fear into them. Could even be a friend, could be a sibling, could be a whoever it is. I don't know. We have somebody here who is holding you back from extreme happiness because you're listening to the wrong person. Really be careful. There's an end of a contract. This is the end of a contract. It's no longer, it's not compatible. It's no longer love. It's, this contract is over. It's done. Whoever this person is that you're dealing with that's holding you back, it's like, there's not even any more togetherness. It's like, it's going down. It is going down. It's gone down. It's already down. It's like, this isn't even feasible at this point. There's been too much incompatibility, too many arguments, and it's like, it's not love. With the lovers reversed, it's not love. And it's time to heal. It's time for you to go through the rebirth and be happy again. But, in order to get the love that you deserve, you're going to have to make a choice. And right now, staying where you're at, making the choice to stay where you're at, where there's no love, well, hey. And that's the way it goes. I mean, if that's what you choose to do, then you will not have balance and harmony in your life. Things will continue to feel ugly because you don't dare to take a risk. It's that change that is needed. We had this card yesterday too. Destined change of course. Free will plays a part here, it does. You have to take that step. Destiny is calling. But somebody ain't answering the call. With the judgment card reversed, you're not answering the call. Destiny's calling. Ring, 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 ring. Ring, 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 ring. Answer the fucking call. Because you notice where it is. And the Four of Cups reversed, okay? We got the Sun card, the Destiny card, and the Four of Cups reversed. There's an opportunity to find the love, to get the love that you deserve with extreme happiness when you accept the change of course and answer the call. Listen to your inner guide. Stop denying it. You see what's mirroring. You always got to see what's mirroring. Inner guide being denied. Denial. Oh, come on now. Sleeping. Somebody is asleep. I mean, seriously. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious I wasn't lying when I just said somebody is asleep refusing to listen I mean come on now how more closed off could you be the high priestess reversed the hierophant reversed the judgment reversed the two of swords I... come on now wake up wake up You are dealing with somebody who has hidden agendas. And the only reason, I'm sorry, the only reason they, they want you to stay is perhaps for the money. <laughs> Could be, right? Whoever you're dealing with is has secrets. That's for damn sure. Absolutely, positively. There's secrets here. 
It's either you or them. There's secret. Somebody is keeping a secret and there's no absolute, no doubt, no doubt at all. And you know what this has caused? A loss of self. Somebody is in a situation where they don't even feel like themselves anymore. There's no more compatibility. There's no more love. And it's time for this change to happen. But that fear is so big. There sure as hell ain't no love in this situation. And somebody is just clinging because of the memories. It's because what they know. Six, six, six. All three of them are reversed. There's no peace. There's no harmony. There's no balance in this situation. And it's time to reevaluate. Reevaluate your life because wherever you're at, there's, there's no balance whatsoever. None. And no peace and harmony. It's a wake up call. It's time to wake up. It's time to get your life back on track because right now it's a freaking mess. I don't know who this is for. Somebody is involved in a huge mess and we're going to get some people that are in denial. Absolutely. Positively. My life's not a mess. Why the fuck are you watching tarot readings? Sorry, that slipped. And here I am, the Queen of Swords. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Okay. Telling it like it is. This is how it is. You're not listening. You're refusing to wake up. You would be better off on your own than in a situation that lacks everything and anything that you need to be successful. You need to open your eyes and wake up. It's time to reevaluate the situation that you're in because you have an opportunity for good fortune, for a positive change that brings you what you deserve. Extreme happiness. But like I said, I think I may have said that. If not, if this, I don't, I, I can't remember. Things go so fast. But the main tool is strength. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You think about Leo. Leo's is about strength. Strength. Confidence. Ambition. Self-worth. Self-esteem. You may need to get creative. But it's time to follow your path. It's time to go on a new adventure. And it's time to get real. In a be assertive. Stop lying. Stop denying your intuition. It's, it's, you should, you should be able to be more free spirited. You should be able to feel more playful. You should be able to smile. You should be smiling all the time. You should, um, your heart should be singing, not crying. And right now, somebody is in a spot where they're feeling almost emotionless. Emotionless. 
Is that what you deserve? Especially when destiny is trying to change this course, but free will does play a part and you have to step over that edge. And you, you can't step over the edge until you trust. You have to trust. You have to trust your intuition. You have to trust your inner guide. You have to trust the universe. You have to trust that the plan was already written and, you know, that you know what's best. You have to trust yourself. You need to start listening. Somebody has not been listening. That's the absolute positively truth. I mean, I, that's clear, clear. And it's caused a huge repression. And they can't listen because of the fear. The fear is so great. But there's also a lot of conflict here. Somebody is reluctant to move on from whatever it is that they may need to move on from this situation that's not love okay it's definitely not love reluctant to move on because it's what they know and therefore the conflict and the tension is just going to build up there's a lot of tension here the tension is going to build and 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 build It's time. It's time to transform. It's time to transcend into who you are supposed to be. Stop fighting it. You're not the same person you used to be. You, it's time to heal. You might have to make some compromises, but in the end, you're going to be so happy and abundant. So today is a day about taking that leap again. I mean, that you got to look at that fool. Same deal. I mean, come on. What is holding you back? Money? Money? Is that what's holding you back? Jesus Christ. Excuse my language. I don't know if you can see it. Here it is. Breaking trail. A breakthrough is at hand. Well, thank you, God. That's good. Look at that. I just turned on the light. Time to see the light, right? Can you see the light? Can you turn the light on? Or you want to live in darkness? That's your call. Somebody ain't making the right call. Wake up. Breaking trail. You're at the beginning of a breakthrough. Everything you've been doing for the past few years has been a preparation for what's ahead. There are instances when the path isn't clear ahead. And in those moments, sometimes you need to break trail. In your life, it may seem that the path disappears. However, the only way to reach your destination is to push through it. Keep going. Do things in a new way. Imagine a woman, a woman giving birth. <laughs> it's hard. But through her great effort, a baby comes into being. Something new and exciting is coming into your life. It's not about following the path ahead, but, but creating your own trail. It's time to stop standing on the edge of life. Oh boy. It's, I said standing on the edge. You need to step off that edge right at the very beginning. 
It's time to stop standing on the edge of life and just take a leap. Come on now. Your patience is going to pay off. All limitations and inner blockages are dropping away. Don't let fear keep you from moving forward. This is truly the time to allow yourself to experience the fear. But do it anyway. Just do it. Something for which you've waited a long time is about to come to fruition. Don't be afraid to jump in with both feet. Your efforts will help create a trail for others. It's time to jump. It's time to start over. New life, new chapter, new beginning. The past is gone when you hit this when you hit this it's over time is now good luck